Did you know that ancient cockroaches were many times larger than modern cockroaches? And that on our planet there used to be huge winged monsters that even grew extra wings? It's a good thing that these giants are long gone because otherwise the modern world would be quite scary. In this episode, I'll show you the ancient giant insects which are extinct, fortunately for humans. Let's go! Ancient Cockroaches How much has changed in the life of these insects over millions of years? Cockroaches could rightly be considered survival experts because they appeared on the planet at about the same time as dinosaurs. Paleontologists are no longer surprised by hundred-million-year-old cockroach remains. Moreover, they even know that these insects ate dinosaur droppings. But a new research conducted by the Okinawa Institute of Science and Technology scientists has revealed something even more curious. Armed with a huge amount of genetic information, a team of Japanese scientists has reconstructed the biogeographic history of cockroaches. The scientists traced key evolutionary points and found out that these insects existed on Earth as early as 300 million years ago which can be called a fossil record. Externally, ancient cockroaches resembled the modern cockroaches that we're familiar with but were much larger in size. In prehistoric times, an adult member of this insect family reached an average length of about 9 centimeters. But how did they manage to spread throughout the Earth, surviving dozens of planet-wide crises? Similar to modern ones, ancient cockroaches had wings, but they couldn't fly long distances. There's a theory that during the division of the single ancient continent, cockroaches simply dispersed in different parts of Pangaea. This version of passive migration is confirmed by the fact that today many related cockroach species live on different continents. The fossil record is also consistent with this hypothesis. Researchers believe that the distribution of many other insects can also be traced back on the theory of continental drift and fossil data. Carbon Spiders the Carboniferous period, also known as the Age of Amphibians, began 359 million years ago and lasted for about 60 million years. Contrary to popular belief, the climate in the Carboniferous period was not hot at all. Actually, during this period, the Earth became noticeably colder, roughly like in the modern era. It was, however, during this period that the largest insects lived on Earth. Did the Gigantism Syndrome also spread to spiders? It turns out that ancient spiders had other advantageous features. Interesting fact, last year, archaeologists from the University of Kansas came across an interesting find, the remains of spiders that had not been known before. The ancient arachnids found in South Korea were called fire eyes. Further research showed that these organisms lived on Earth about 180 million years ago. But that's not all that's been learned about these arthropods. Analysis of the remains showed that the spiders had the ability to shine their eyes in the dark. The arthropods acquired this interesting skill by means of sickle-shaped eyes that reflected light. Even millions of years later, prehistoric arachnids still had glowing eyes, though they're long extinct and only fossilized remains remain. Dictyonuridae have you ever heard anything about the one-meter-long ancient dragonflies that hunted near ancient bodies of water? If you've never been able to imagine what these giants hunted, I'll give you that chance right now. Meet Dictyonuridae, which inhabited our planet about 230 million years ago. The closest modern relative of these ancient insects are mayflies. However, don't be deceived, representatives of this order became prey to the dragonflies not because of their modest size but solely because of their sluggishness and peaceful disposition. Dictyonuridae had a wingspan of about 43 centimeters. Mayflies and Dictyonuridae are the only insects of their kind. They molt not only in the larval but also in the adult stage. Mesothyros Scientists are confident that the creature which they named Mesothyros could boast a very impressive size. Computer analysis and reconstruction of fossils of this genus suggest that the wingspan of the Mesotheros was up to 55 centimeters. Moreover, two wings were not enough for flight. As a result, they acquired three pairs. The Mesotheros played an important role in ancient ecosystems. They fed on the sap of plants, especially they loved ferns of all sorts, including seed ferns. If we compare these insects with modern ones, they are similar to bed bugs and cicadas in their ecological niche, although they are not direct relatives. These insects had a long, segmented proboscis, 
with which they pierced the covers of plant parts, sipping the sap from the cores. Unfortunately, despite the rather detailed information about these creatures, scientists cannot completely restore their lifetime appearance. The found remains are too fragmentary. Who knows, maybe future findings will allow paleontologists to learn more about the six-winged giants. In any case, it's probably for the best that such giants are extinct. Otherwise, today's world would be very different. It'd be much creepier. Fortunately for humans, not only are all of these giant insects extinct, but some giant arthropods as well. Stay tuned to learn all the details about these ancient monsters. They'll surprise you. Pulmonoscorpius Pulmonoscorpius is one of the largest scorpions ever to inhabit the Earth and the largest land scorpion known to science. Fossil remains of this species, which was first discovered by paleontologists in eastern Scotland, this giant scorpion reached up to 70 centimeters in length, so why can modern scorpions not reach this size, even when they live in food-rich regions far away from human civilization? The reason is the same as in the case of the spiders I mentioned earlier. In the Carboniferous period, the oxygen content of atmospheric air was higher than today. So at the time, the arthropods reached truly impressive sizes. Giant Sea Scorpion However, the menace of the land, Pulmonoscorpius, also had a close relative that dominated the seas. Jecleptaris is a genus of crustaceans that was truly intimidating due to its size. The largest known individuals of this genus reached a record for a crustacean body length, about 2.5 meters. Comparable sizes were possessed by other arthropods, meristomes on average reaching 2 meters in length. The reconstruction of the fossilized remains of this genus allows scientists to surmise that the main weapon of the crustacean was claws, not jaws or tail. Given that a body length of this creature reached 2.5 meters, one claw of Jacklipteris could reach 46 centimeters in length. Although Jacklipteris was called a giant sea scorpion, paleontologists believe that it lived in large freshwater rivers and lakes. Fortunately, these ancient monsters became extinct 406 million years ago. Anyway, today's waters would not have made a home for them. Giant Trilobite This creature bore little resemblance to the computer models from the Jurassic Park movies. Isotelus rex is considered to be the largest trilobite ever to inhabit the planet, measuring about 70 centimeters in length and up to 40 centimeters in width. 500 million years ago, in the Paleozoic era, this fearsome creature lived at the bottom of the ocean, and its habitat was very wide. Fossil remains of this species have been found in many countries – China, Canada, the United States, Norway, Kazakhstan, Russia, and the United Kingdom. In spite of its frightening size, trilobites were the oceanic analogs of cockroaches. They were rather primitive but perfectly adapted organisms which had inhabited our planet for 300 million years. Anomalocaris This arthropod was one of the largest organisms of the Cambrian. Externally, this creature looked like a mixture between squid and shrimp. Even the name of the species is translated as unusual shrimp. However, Anomalocaris differed strikingly from the modern shrimps. Take at least a huge number of sharp teeth this ancient hunter was armed with. Fossil remains of Anomalocaris found in the territory of China confirm the theory about the impressive size of this ancient arthropod. It could reach one meter in length. Unlike today's shrimps, Anomalocaris hunted only large prey. Its speedy movement in the water column was helped by growths on its sides each of which acted as a separate fin. At the same time, Anomalocaris had the most developed eyes of all species of that period. Its excellent vision was provided by 16,000 hexagonal lenses in two faceted eyes. For comparison, a modern fly has about 4,000 lenses in its eyes. That's all, guys. Which current inhabitant of the planet scares you the most? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you later.